Hey, so I just wanted to make this quick video on how you can download free ebooks to your Kindle. So, the first thing to do is open up a web browser and then type in Project Gutenberg. Now you can click on the first thing that comes up, which will be gutenberg.org. And then this is a website which has books where the copyright has expired and they are in the public domain. So let's just look at one instance, which is Dracula. And we could get this book for free, so we just click on it. I've got an older Kindle, so I'll choose this option. But if you've got a newer one, you'll probably want to choose this. Uh, you'll know once you've downloaded it and moved it onto your Kindle whether or not the file will be accepted. So I'll just go with old Kindle here. And here it's downloaded, so we'll go to show all downloads. Or another way that you can do this is just by opening up the file explorer, going to downloads, and then renaming this to whatever you want it to be. So for me, that's going to be the title of the book. Now we'll need to plug in our Kindle. All right, so I just plugged in my Kindle, and here we can see that it is being recognized by the operating system. So I'm going to open up a new tab of the File Explorer. So just right-click on the File Explorer, and then open a new tab, or a new window, sorry. And then go into the Kindle, and there's a folder within it called Documents. And I don't know if this exists on the new one, but I'm sure it's a similar process. But once you've got this open, all you want to do is drag in that new file that you just downloaded. And it will copy over from your computer onto the Kindle. And then once that's done, all you have to do is right-click this connection. And you just hit Eject. And now you can safely remove your Kindle from uh, being plugged in. And then you can open up your Kindle and enjoy the book that you just downloaded. And just for reference, on Amazon, this book does not cost that much. In fact, it's under a dollar. But you just saved yourself a uh, dollar, and it took about the same amount of time as just buying it from the store. So hopefully this helped, and have fun reading.